Hi y'all and welcome back to Lives. I think it's time we play a little Seven Days to Die. Alright. Uh, let's see, what do I got going on here? Hmm. I'm not sure what I've got going on here, to be honest. Uh, I do think I need to get... Oh, right, I was making uh, armor and stuff, right? Boots, legs, hoe, a new shovel. Let's go ahead and combine these. That's not a shovel. Actually, look, there's the iron hoe I was looking for. Remember I said I thought I had one? It was in my inventory the whole time. Uh, are you making... Oh, no, because I needed more... this to make a new iron chest plate. There we go. Alright. Are you done? No, you're still going. Okay, I think that gets me pretty much ready to move out as soon as that iron armor is done. Uh, so let's see. Seeds can go back in here. Uh, I like to keep the fibers with me. Uh, definitely going to need the wrench. Keep this with me. This stuff can hang out in here. Keep that with me. I'll keep that with me. That can go. This can go. This can go. That can go. You can stay. Oh, you know what else? Let's go ahead and get rid of this dirt as well. You can go. And, you know what? I'm going to turn this off. Uh, so. Uh, me here. Uh, chest piece off. And we'll combine that. Oh, living one's not done yet. See new legs, new boots. Nice. Scrap these old ones. Get them out of here. I'm still wearing like plant stuff, man. I didn't even get new clothes on. Look at that. That's crazy. Uh, how long are you gonna take to get that chest piece? All right. Uh, while I wait on that chest piece, I guess I can continue to wear the one I had. Uh, let's go out and see if we can't get some meat. Really, you know what? Before I go, though, I should probably splint my leg. Probably a good idea. I don't own a splint. I just, I just don't. There's no reason to own a splint. Apparently, uh, splint. Oh, it takes duct tape. Ugh. I hate to use my duct taped up. All right. All right. Now I should be good to go. Uh, let's go hunting. Oops. And then I just wasted an arrow for no reason. And then I just tried to kill myself. Hey, I should probably bring water with me, too. One would think I'd never played this game before. With my inability to actually prepare to leave. Uh. Oh, I wonder if I'm hungry. Eh, a little bit. Not too much, though. I have a ton of vegetables uh, ready to go. I just don't have the meat to go with it. And I don't think my mushrooms are working correctly. They don't appear to be actually growing. I wonder if they have to be in the dark. I think that's a thing. I'm going to go uh, cover them over see if that helps. Um, like... Oh, 
Oh, weird. I can't. I can't put it on that block right there. I guess mushrooms are taller than I thought. All right. Uh, let me grab some more of these. So, uh, while I'm working on this, we can talk about D and D. Uh, we uh, had the had our normal uh, Monday night session, and. Um, I don't know. I don't know how well the lighting system in this works. I don't know if that's enough to consider them covered. I just know they're not growing. Everything else here was grown and harvestable, and those those were not. Maybe they just have a long growing pattern. I don't know, uh, but definitely, definitely were not working. So. Yeah, we uh we've been chasing these guys into uh into the uh underground caverns in our Monday night session. I actually have two sessions to talk about because I forgot to talk about the Monday night one in in an earlier video. And um uh but uh a few weeks ago we got some prophecies and uh each person got individual prophecies just for them. And so, uh, this Monday night, uh, one of the prophecies I have is that I would chase, I would leap through fire to chase down the member of a group who's involved with ultimate evil. And so, the bad guy that we were chasing threw up a wall of flame, and, um... And so I'm like, ooh, this is my prophecy. I said this out loud to the people in my group. Ooh, this is my prophecy. I can fulfill a prophecy. I'm going to leap through flame just like it says in my prophecy. Chase this guy down. And so I do so. And um, one of the other people, uh, the wizard, uh, he had uh, used polymorph to turn uh, this thing called a beholder into a sheep. Because, and I quote... Just like I used to do in Warcraft. Um, which I think is half the problem I have with the way he plays the game. Is he tries to play it like he's playing a game of Warcraft. And, uh... Man, I hate... I hate that you see animals when you don't want them, but you can't find them when you're specifically looking for them. I hate it. Shut it. You're not an animal. You were, however, difficult to kill, shockingly. Guess I'm a little low on uh, stamina there from the running. Oh, and I'm thirsty. So, uh, he's messing around with that. The, our whole party is basically messing around with that because they realize that while the uh, sheep is... Uh, there, it only has two hit points. The uh, wall of fire that it is currently laying next to is about to do damage to it, and when it takes damage, it's going to turn it back into uh, an angry beholder. And, uh... So, uh... They try to move the thing. Meanwhile, I'm chasing. I've jumped through fire. I've taken a bunch of damage. I'm chasing this guy down. Uh, they try to move the sheep, but in the process of moving the sheep, they accidentally wake it up because it had a sleep spell cast on it. But sleep spells wear off if you just shake something. And so they rolled. Uh, they rolled to see if they could pick it up without shaking it. They failed. Um, so now it's awake. Well, it's it's still a goat, but it's angry at the wizard uh, for turning it into a sheep. The wizard is standing near the wall of flame still, and uh, and so it attacks the wizard near the wall of flame. So he he runs behind a rock, which is actually the position he spent most of the fight in, was hiding 
behind rocks so nothing could attack him, because that's what he does. Uh, and, um... So the Beholder, in its sheep form, does not move far enough away from the wall to not take damage at the end of its turn. Takes the damage, turns back into a Beholder. So then when it gets back to his turn, he decides that rather than stay there and help the rest of the group fight the Beholder, he too will jump through the wall and chase after the guy that I'm chasing down. Now remember, when I went after the guy, the Beholder was an unconscious sheep. <laughs> And that was the only thing left alive in that room besides my party. Uh, he, meanwhile, leaves the party behind as the only wizard uh, to face off against the Beholder. And uh, by the time it got to his turn, uh, two of the people were either paralyzed or unconscious, uh, leaving one person to deal with the Beholder while he ran away. Uh, to cast blindness on the guy who was already limping and slowly trying to get away from me who had no chance. Uh, I, I have no idea why I did that, but yeah. Um, needless to say, uh, blindness had no impact on me chasing and killing the guy. Um, I, was, uh, I was like 15 feet away from him at that point. On my next turn, there was nothing he could do to stop me from taking him out. Uh, and, uh, uh, in fact, not only did Blindness not help anybody, uh, but my first roll was enough to do damage to him. Blindness allows you to get two rolls. Uh, but my first roll succeeded. My second roll from having Blindness cast on him failed. Uh, and so blindness did not help me at all to kill this guy. It was a waste of everybody's time, as per normal. Now that wizard DMs my Wednesday night game, and uh, we uh, we started off the night with a discussion about how how we did not like how he handled XP, uh, and uh, this is this is not. A new campaign from scratch. Uh, okay, I don't really want to go into this territory to try and find animals. I don't know why I can't find animals when I want meat. Like, I'm just wandering along. I see like half a dozen. Uh, I think when I was uh, bringing my bike back through here, I came across um, uh, some deer, a couple of pigs, and and some rabbits. Uh, so, I, I'm not really sure where they all went to now that I need them. But, uh, yeah, so he, uh, he, uh, we've completed one campaign. He complained during the, okay, I say campaign twice there. Uh, we're playing modules, all right. We, in our first module, he complained that we were leveling too fast. But he kept having us do extra things that weren't part of the module. Like, he had this whole side story he put in, uh, which I've talked about before. He basically killed off an NPC because we jokingly said we were going to track her down. And so he killed her with his storyline and then made us face off against zombie versions of her and all her people because we jokingly said we were going to track her down and kill her. And he didn't want us to, and so he killed her. He said he killed her so we couldn't, uh, because after, after, uh, after we found out she was dead, he's like, "Well, I guess that plans of hunting her down and killing her ain't gonna work now, are they? Huh?" Um, he's very antagonistic for some reason, and uh, so uh, man, I should have brought some coffee with me. So. He complained we were leveling too fast, and then when we get to this new one, there are different places you could start this new module. And instead of having us start at the level that we're at, um, like there's been nothing. We have done nothing that warrants us starting at a lower level. Uh, not one quest have we completed has anything to do with the actual focus of the module. So he's been having us 
run around do these little non quests and uh, and then on top of that he's been beefing up the fights so that they are deadly encounters for us like nobody's died but it's come really close more than once uh, and uh, and so last week last week we finished the fight or no uh, two two three weeks ago three weeks ago we finished a super deadly fight we almost die and he says uh, I don't want you leveling too fast so I'm gonna give you like uh, 250 XP uh, which means nothing to you but we need thousands of XP 14,000 XP is the number we gotta reach to uh, hit our next level um, we were at like 9,000 and something when we started this module and um, he, no, we weren't even, we weren't even at 9,000 and something. He had us do some other stuff that wasn't part of the module because he wasn't ready. After three and a half months, he still wasn't ready to start the next module. So he made some stuff up for us to do in between. And, uh, and so we did that, which gave us even more experience. Uh, and then he complained that we were leveling too fast again. And then we get in this huge fight that almost kills us. And, uh, uh, he's like, I'm going to give you a 250 XP. No, no. You know, it's probably worth more than that. I'll give you 500. So, 500 XP is about how much one, one regular bandit is worth. One regular bandit. Uh, we have not been fighting regular... <gasps> sniper rifle! Oh, sniper rifle, I love you. I love you so much. Unfortunately, you're a really low-level sniper rifle. That's a little sad. But, uh, I love you. So, um... I mean, it's not... It's not the meat I'm looking for, but hey. It, you know. I now have my emergency sniper rifle, I guess. Although, on the plus side, if I find a... If I find a, another one... I can combine them together, right? Try and, uh... Try and make a better version. Um, so anyways, so he, he gyps us on XP that night. So then last week, last week we go, and, uh, I sat down and I opened up the books. Now, I could not find the creatures he attacked us with. Um, he claims they're all out of the book, but if they're out of the book, he's using a different book than the actual book. Oh. Because... Dang it. Really? Uh, because he says, oh, it says it's a priest, but it's a, actually a sorcerer. And he gave it spells that are not listed in the book, and he gave it more spell slots than it's supposed to have. And then when I confronted him about the amount of XP we got from the fight, uh, he said, no, no, you're wrong, that's the experience they have in the book for it. Yeah, but that's not the experience they have for something with three level three spell slots. Uh, and, uh, and cast and counter spell on all our spells. Whoa. So, um, when I came to kill, I don't even know what this is, man. Like, I was gonna say it was a giraffe, but... It's a mutation. Alright. I feel a little better now that I got some meat. Uh, so... Um, I sat down and just trying to guesstimate what things were worth based off of what he'd done, because he changed things. And, uh, dang it, I just finger twitched and I shot another arrow. Um, he changed things to make them harder, because he feels that every fight we have has to be deadly. Uh, and I think he thinks it has to be deadly because I once told him about a special... 
event I did for the group I DM where they were overwhelmed and it was supposed to be scary one time. Like, I've never done another event like that, but one time I had a bunch of of NPCs show up to save the day at the last minute from the organization that they're a part of. And, uh, and so he thinks that he has ways to save us, he said, in case things go bad. Um, and that uh, not to worry about it because he will rescue us if we're actually about to die. That's what he told me. That's what you did, he said. I'm like, I did that one time for one special thing. I don't do that every time. You mean you guys fight stuff that's easy for him? I'm like, yeah, all the time. All the time, that's how the game works. They fight small little engagements, and then maybe once a once a session we fight one hard, hard engagement. Um, and, uh, but so he's got us... He's got us doing these little tiny... I thought I saw a deer. I did not. Uh, he's got us doing these... I don't think I put my bedroll back down over here either. That's scary. Um, I better go lock myself in place. Uh, but so anyways, I figured it out, and we had like 12,000 XP worth of... worth of uh, things we killed. And... Uh, in, in his mind, apparently, if something's worth 450 XP and we fight, like, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 or 9 of them, uh, but that's really only, like, 500 XP. Um, seriously, from the way he talked, uh, he's like, it was really only a couple of thousand. I'm like, dude, just two of the creatures were worth 3,800 points. And I confronted him on the priest. I'm like, dude, you had a priest with wizard spells. He's like, it was a sorcerer. It's right out of the book. Nope. There there are no creatures in that book. There are no creatures in that book that are not named bad guys who are the leaders of the cults that this quest is about. Uh, and we did not fight the leader of the cult. The leader of the cult has counterspell. You made us fight the leader of the cult when we were supposed to be fighting one of his minions that you called a priest. Uh, okay, now I need... I need not to leave my fire going here for some reason I did. It's my food. I need ears of corn. I need potatoes. I would like some meat stew. I have enough to make one meat stew. <laughs> All right, and um, so yeah, it was. So then we get to this week, right? And uh, so this week, after after arguing about XP, and he says he he'll change it then, uh, since we we want uh, we wanted. I we told him just let us have the normal the normal whatever XP. We're fine with that. It doesn't have to... Why does this egg boil? That's that's weird to me. Like, the egg is boiling while it's in my inventory? Is that not weird? Oh, dude, you still don't have that cooked? Wow. So I should probably take some of this out of here. And the bed, right? The whole reason I came back here... Fix my place in the bed. So, um... So, yeah, so we go through last night. He starts telling us what we're gonna do. Uh, and I don't mean, like... He's describing to us what's going on. I mean, he starts telling our characters what... He starts telling us what our characters are doing. Which is a big no-no. And, uh... And, uh, starts arguing with me that I have to carry these dead bodies. And I'm like, I'm not gonna carry these dead bodies. He's like, no, you... 
the townspeople are going to be upset if you don't carry... I'm like, why do I have to carry out the townspeople's dead bodies? Tell the townspeople to come pick them up. I'm not, I'm not carrying out their stuff. And, uh... Alright. Now, I locked that in place. Okay, let's check my... Check my stats here. See if uh, anything can go up that I use now that I have a couple of levels worth of points here. Um, ooh, Pummel Pete is one I do like. Uh, 7.62, that's a thing that I should probably learn. Alright, nothing for, uh, ooh, well, better led than dead. Put some points in better led than dead, and Pummel Pete, oh, Pummel Pete is 20 points, I can't afford that. What about my science? Nope, can't afford that either, I only got five points left. Alright, well, uh, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, he's telling us what to do. Oh, you know what? I should get some gas. Uh, he's telling us what to do. He's telling us what our characters are doing. Uh, it was kind of funny because he's like, uh, the NPC wants to, to talk with these, uh, you can use a spell called speak with the dead to speak with dead. Um, obviously, because that's what it's called. And, um, and he's like, well, the NPC thinks you could get information from... Nobody in this game has given us useful information, really. Uh, like, one person we talked to told us that this caravan was coming coming to this particular town. When we got to the town, because it went missing, no one in the town had ever heard of it. And then finally we found a guard who worked for the caravan. And the last place she seen it was in Belliard. And so nothing we did in this town expanded our knowledge beyond that. Uh, like, we could have left at that point and not done anything in this town and basically accomplished the same thing. We'd only been a thousand XP shorter because that's all he gave us was a thousand XP for everything that took place in the town. That's not true. We did fight a necromancer I keep forgetting about, and I think that's when we got the 500 XP, and he was only going to give us 250 for it, and then changed his mind, even though the necromancer is worth like a thousand XP, um, plus all the undead that we fought, uh, getting beyond that. And, um, all right, I did bring coffee, so. But, uh, yeah, so I gotta hurry and get done with my story here. Uh, so, uh, so as we're going, um, we talk to a few people, he makes us, he, he demands, basically, that we take these dead bodies back. And so we're like, well, we'll just take the heads. He won't let us put the bodies in, um in the bag of holding. Uh, fine, whatever. Uh, I'm like, I'm not carrying dead bodies out of here. I'm like, if that guy wants to talk to the dead bodies, then he can carry the dead bodies. He's like, well, if, if he has to take the dead bodies, he's not going to share the information with you. I'm like, I don't care at this point. Like, dude, we don't need his information. We already know we have to go to Belliard. <laughs> we only came in here because a giant hole opened up in the ground. And... Uh, you know, I mean, that's, oh, that's the extent of that. Like, I, um, that's the only reason we're down here. We don't really care about this town. And, um, so, uh, so we, uh, argue with the NPC over whether or not we are dragging these bodies back. Uh, one of the guys on the team uh, actually goes in the other room while we're talking and cuts their heads off and comes back with their heads. And um, and so we take the heads to the priest in town. Uh, the, uh, the NPC who's been bossing us around the entire night says he's going to go get another guy to boss us around. Um, and uh, now he... 
he's an information NPC. He is part of a group who's supposed to know everything that's going on. He has no information for us. He didn't know there was a cult in his town, which is what we just accidentally f dealt with. Um, he didn't know there was a second cult in his town. He didn't know about the first cult that attacked us. And uh, and so we're like, yeah, we've got information that a bunch of the leaders in this town are members of a cult. He doesn't believe us. And then he says, we have to go talk to the sheriff in the town. And we're like, well, how do we know the sheriff isn't a member of this cult? Because if I'm going to be, you know, if, if the leaders of this town are in this cult altogether, then wouldn't the sheriff possibly be? No, I know the sheriff. I know he wouldn't be part of that. Really, what about all the other people in the town? Uh, that you knew about that are members of this cult that you weren't aware they were members of this cult. So, no, we're not allowed to question that the sheriff might be a member of the cult. So that NPC leaves us with the priest. We, uh, we cast the Speak with Dead to speak with the member of the larger cult that is part of the module, not the lesser cult that's part of this town. And um, he tells us nothing. He gives us the name of his group, and that's it. That's the only information we got from him. I'm like, this isn't even information we needed. None of this helps us. Because nobody ever knows who these people are. Uh, they're so super secret that they ride up and down the roads attacking travelers. But nobody's ever seen them before or has ever heard of them. Because that's how it works. Uh, and, uh... So, uh... We, uh... We get done with that, and then he, he, uh, the, we brought back the town's cult person, and, uh, and so the guy who left to get the sheriff, he wants to, he wants to, uh, question the other guy about the town's cult, and I'm like, yeah, we got our information, we're done, thanks, and so we walked out of the church, because we didn't care about the town's cult. And so the DM was pretty shocked that I didn't want to sit around and listen to information about a cult that only has to do with this town that we're leaving and hopefully never coming back to. Um, because he's made it abundantly clear that they were just a minor cult just in this particular town, that no other places have members, it was just a few people in the town, we already know who they are, there's no reason for us to stay and listen to this. So... Um, I talked to the other guy, and we head off to this other quest that we had tried to do the session before, and he wouldn't let us, because the NPC wouldn't leave town in the middle of the afternoon, would only leave town in the morning. Well, now it's, it's slightly before noon, so I thought maybe this was early enough for him to take us out to these things. Um, he's like, so where are you guys going? I'm like, well, we're going to the bar. And, uh, and so we tell him which bar we're going to. And uh, and he goes, well, why are you going to that bar and not the regular bar? I'm like, because we need to go talk to that guy about uh, about the quest that he wouldn't give us before. And uh, he's like, oh, well, the sheriff heard you were interested in those uh, open graves, which is what the quest was. And so he went and talked to the guy himself and went and looked at the quest, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. So that quest is completed and you don't have to worry about it. So you gave us the start of a quest, and now when we want to go work on it, we don't get to work on it, because... Just because. So, I'm like, okay, fine, then we'll go talk to this other person who's supposed to have information. Uh, hoping that by this point he has realized that after our discussion on... Oh, hey, you know, I got a bunch of stuff in here yet. Look at that. Including a splint. <laughs> uh, uh, is this engine better than your engine? Yes, it is. Uh, let me... Let me take this engine. Uh, and combine it with the other engine to make a better engine to go in here and hopefully make my bike much faster. Um, that'll be handy. And my chess piece is done. Okay, I gotta unload all this stuff. Man, I'm... I gotta unload all this stuff before I can work on any of that. Uh, 
So anyway, so we uh, we go through all that. We get no information. Nobody is helpful. Um, he demands that we talk to all these people. None of them help us. And uh, uh, none of them are helpful in any way that we can see. And there's no reason for us to be in this town because we're not even allowed to complete the quests that we learned about. And uh, and so we want to go to the other town. So we we uh, we get ready to leave for the other town, and then one of the people in this town are like, "No, you can't go to that town. You need to take this letter to this guy in a town you've already been to." And we're like, "Fine, we'll take the thing to the other town." Although I think we should just take this other trail that goes right to the place we want to go. And he's like, "No, you can't do that because you need to take this letter." And so we're like, "Fine, we'll take the letter." So we take the letter to the guy. He's supposed to give us more information. Can you guess what happens? There's no more information. He just takes the letter. There was no reason for us to go there. Uh, so now we've we've wasted all that time talking to these people, getting nothing done, uh, and we are just ready to move on to whatever is supposed to be going on in this thing. And it's just not happening. Uh, and so... Um, and then we, uh, uh, along the way, he's like, well, there's, there are ranchers standing, oh yeah, and I want to combine that other thing. There are ranchers standing alongside the road, or standing near the road. Do you want to talk to them? And we're like, oh, your crafting only allows you to improve this to 300. Oh. All right. Well, then I can't, I can't help you, because I think 400 would be the max... If I had more points to put into science, I assume. Uh, no, no, 300 is actually the... Uh, nope, you know what? I don't know how I can improve this to 300. Alright, well, I did get a better engine anyways for my bike down here. Uh, so, uh, I need to finish this story. <laughs> so, um, we wind up going to, the, to a couple more places. Uh, we talk to a bunch of people. None of them... Oh, no, you know what? I... That's where that other fuel came from. That thousand fuel that popped back out. Uh, was because... Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's much faster. Nice. That's... That's going to be super helpful when I get ready to head off next episode. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to concentrate here and finish this. So we, uh, we, we, t we deliver the letter, the guy tells us to go to the other town, we go to the other town, we talk to s some people at a bar. Um, now I know, because I looked at the book, I know that there's a story to this bar, but he gives us no indicators that there's a story to this bar until we're leaving, and then he says, huh, my guy wonders why the bar is called what it is. You know what, never mind, that's what he says. I'm like, yeah, no, that's a that's a weird name. Uh, how is it spelled? And because uh, we ran into this thing once before, and he never explained it. And this is the explanation for that thing we ran into. And uh, but then he decided at the last minute that he didn't want to bother explaining it to us. I can hear you. Be dead, will you? And, um, so, yeah, we, uh, we didn't get the explanation for that. Um, it was just that there used to be a statue there, the bar owner disappeared, the statue now moves around, um, and, um, it followed us for a little while. But, uh, so then we go, we find the thing, we, or we find the caravan, or no, we don't even find the caravan, we find dead bodies, dead bodies lead us to the river. We can't track along the river, so we can't find that stuff. We go to this other place that they told us about. We talk to them. They don't have any information. They do give us the name of a place we can go next, because that's all we've done so far. Go to place A, get the name of place B. Go to place B, get the name of place C. None of it leads to anything. Go to place C, talk to them. They give us a place D. We go to D. They give us the name of E. We go to E. They give us F. F gives us... So we finally get to this to this place, which apparently is the start of the game, he said. And we have spent we've spent weeks now, like five weeks, not part of the main quest because he had to start at the beginning 
of the how to level your characters up to the appropriate level for this module instead of having a start at here's the appropriate level to start your character or here's the place to start your characters at this level uh, and so we're finally at the place he feels is the appropriate level for our characters so now we're going to start gaining XP and so after complaining that he doesn't give us the appropriate amount of XP last night at the end of four hours of gameplay he decided not to give us any XP zero his answer to not enough was zero uh, so yeah Yep, so we'll see how that goes next week. Uh, yeah. Alright, with that, click like, like, subscribe, share, catch the next one. I will talk to you later.